Hello guys, welcome back to another Death Frontier 2 video. Today I'm going to be showing you tips and tricks on how to fight the bosses. So, Supreme Bossing Guide. I'm going to leave my Twitch uh, down in the description and also my socials. So, let's get it. There are some very important tips that you'll really need. Have in mind, all bosses are mutants, so you'll need damage resistance mutated to kill them much faster. If you're struggling fighting certain boss, try to clear all the infected in the room and then re-enter. All the infected should be gone, but have in mind, they can still spawn in the room. This tip is only good when you're weak and have a really hard time with bosses. Once you understand how each boss works and learn the room layout, you'll be slaying them with such ease. Also another tip. If you don't want to kill zombies, you can shoot their legs off. You'll have to deal 40% of their maximum HP to be able to deal like them. And then you can use them to block the boss and enemies. Have in mind, you must deal 40% of their maximum HP on one of their legs. And a lot of bosses we're gonna be fighting uh, is gonna be in the similar ways. There are not much to mechanics when it comes to the fighting enemies in this game. If you have a proper build, you can door kill all of the bosses in the game like 99% of the times. So boss fights like will last like two seconds. I didn't show any bosses below level 50 because I think there is really no point because you'll fight them all in the same way, no matter what level. Here are some types of the enemy mutations you can get. Each enemy can have up to two mutations. Bloody, more damage. Irradiated, more HP. On fire, aura damage. Flies, aura damage. Spined, can penetrate bones. Cystic, if you hit the cyst, it will explode and deal the damage in the area of the explosion. Sight, longer reach with extra damage and longer stun duration. Tentacles, extra HP, tentacles, can pull you towards the enemy if too close and it will take and it will take damage. Optic has less HP but can't deal any damage, stun or knock them back, unless you hit the eye while it's open. The boss we are about to fight is called Mother. She spawns worms. Do not get close to her. She can hit quite hard and runs on higher levels. She's gonna run obviously here. Uh, she's irradiated and has tentacles. So she has more HP. It's very easy boss, medium health. Just have a keep the distance, just spray her down during lower levels. If you're in higher levels, you do not have it enough damage, just do as what I said. The boss we're about to fight is called Fingers. Try not to look above his knees, otherwise, he'll bind you for a short period of time. Keep your crosshair on lower part of his body and flick into his head, and keep repeating the process. Don't get too close, he deals medium core damage, and he can run on high level areas. Where we are, he's gonna run. Uh, medium boss. Medium HP health. I'm gonna show you how to do it. You can also delag him if you want, but this is pretty much this is how you do it. Run, keep the distance when he stops. Uh, if you are if you are gonna be quite far away from him, I'll show you, you'll be able to shoot him without getting uh, bonded. If you have a long range weapon, I am, and there we go. It's it's really easy, but yeah. The boss we are about to fight is called Choir. This game is very loud. Keep the distance, he can deal mediocre uh, damage and a lot of damage on higher levels, which 50, and also can run in higher levels. Medium boss, medium health. So he's evaded and has tentacles. Right, yeah, so he's gonna have more HP. So it's very simple. Shoot his head, keep the distance, run, run while he's running. When he stops, turn around, shoot him again. And you just repeat the process. Or you can delag him if you want, but I really think you do not need to just, just kill him. The next boss we're about to fight is the Creep. Creep leaves toxic gas behind him. If you're inside uh, that gas, you'll get irradiated and damaged. Uh, he has the highest, the longest reach when it comes to the melee attacks in the game. So always keep the distance. Medium boss, medium health, not, so not hard. Show you how to fight him. If I were about to boss and I would spray him down, but okay, shoot, run. Again. Get those bullets. Then run again. I'm gonna make sure you do not get inside of his gas. It does not last forever, as you can see. The gas is gonna disappear. Let's get him down. For me at least. The boss we are about to fight is called Hysteric. He goes invisible for short periods of times. While he's invisible, you won't be able to deal any damage to him. Very easy boss, very low health. 
dip, listen to the static sound he makes, that way you know where he is and you're fighting his static. Okay. The fighting technique is very simple. When you see him, you shoot him, keep the distance, kill him as fast as possible with every boss. I clean the room. There we go. The boss we are about to fight is called Titan. You wanna keep the distance, time your reloads with stuns. He runs for a long uh, period of time. He's fast, high damage, and he gets faster and higher levels. Have in mind, the old bosses we are fighting here are in level 50 zones. Uh, he's hard boss and very high health. This one is irradiated and an optic. So, as I said, as I explained, you cannot damage the boss if you do not uh, hit the eye. The eye must be open, so we shoot him. Get a little distance, shoot the eye, bang. Around again, shoot. Around again, wait for him to slow down, get our stamina back. You can reload now. Bring him down and tip. The boss we are about to fight is called Tendril. When I keep the distance, time your reloads with stuns. Run for uh, she runs for a longer period of time. She's quite fast, insane damage per second. Gets quite powerful and fast on higher levels. You're in level 50, so yeah, she's gonna be fast. Uh, it's a hard boss, she has low HP. Tip, deal leg her so you can kill her. Don't fight her if you do not have high enough mobility. So, so she looks like she's irritated, she has extra HP. But what you want to do is focus one leg. So we can go to deal leg her, or I can just go spray her in the head as what I'll do. But I'm going to deal leg her. I'm going to run with her for a bit so you can see how it is. Whole process, there we go, run, 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 stun, get the leg, repeat. Put her down. Some shots and oh, she's already done. Well, there you go. And she's she cannot harm us now, just kill her. Bang! The boss we are about to fight is called Spitter. He's very slow. Uh, Spitter, uh, she's spitting like a green toxic liquid. Uh, before she does the spit, make sure you hit her. You can cancel her attack like that, or also you can dodge her spit. Uh, it's easy boss, has high HP. The one we're fighting has ten uh, tentacles, so she's gonna have more HP. It's very simple. Shoot, 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 shoot. You saw that. We didn't uh, cancel her animation on time, but we were able to uh, dodge her attack. So again, bang. Now let's try to cancel her attack. So that, that's how you cancel it. So. Boss we're about to fight is called Twin. She spits flies, which follows you for some period of time. Flies have a long range, keep the distance, always move to the one side when you're fighting her, when you're shooting. She gets very fast on higher levels, and if optic or tentacles, she can get super fast. It's a hard boss, high health, but once you understand how to fight her, she can become very easy. Show you, let me get her to proc her back first. Clear the room as always, so this is how you do it. Okay, go to the side, you saw what I did. Run when she's on to you, and you do it again. There we go. It's, it's really easy, guys, like that. I've cleared the zombies, so I can just show you the, the way. The boss we're about to fight is called Reaper. Reaper can leap every few seconds if you're in his reach. Every five seconds, he'll start to run fast, so keep the distance so you do not get jumped or hit by his melee attack. Does very high damage with his leaps. Hip. You can dodge his leap attack if you time it right with dodge. Very hard boss, very high health. I'm gonna show you how to fight him. This one is evaded and has spines, bones. So this one will take some time to kill. Dodge that. He's gonna run soon. There you go. Dodge again. Easy. Get the zombie. Just spraying down. That's, that's the best for me how I find it to work. Keep the sticking to the corners. And we can use the zombie to block him. Watch. See that? Dodge again. Easy. Just listen to the sound he makes before he jumps. And there you go. That's the Reaper, guys. And we have come to an end, guys. I really hope this was helpful. I really tried to uh, explain and show as much as possible. Like, I really wish there was more for me to show and explain. But that's how it really is. It's that simple. There's no mechanics and such. Not much to do when it comes to the bosses. So I'm going to leave down in the description my socials, my Twitch, where I seem different here to other games. So check me out if you feel like. Uh, so I don't, I'm not going to keep it any longer. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in another video of Different Tears. So till next time, guys. Peace.